Hey there, Dan Gastu here. Today's video is about repairing the windscreen on a boat and is proudly sponsored by marineengine.com. First though, I've got a viewer t-shirt photo here. This one here is Derek Cooper from Tamworth in England. Thanks Derek. The windscreen we're going to be repairing today came from Dave's boat and we're going to be focusing on replacing a broken perspex section. Now depending on the boat this can be easy, can be hard. Sometimes the frame's just screwed together, you can take the top off in this case as Dave did and just slide the piece of perspex out, or the pieces because it was broken. But sometimes it's riveted, sometimes it just has a rubber seal, sometimes people have siliconed it. So getting the broken bit out can be easy, can be hard, but it's not rocket science. Dave and I started by putting the pieces of the old one together so we can make a template, so we'll pick up there. This is what's left of Dave's windscreen. So it got smashed when the boat was up against another boat during a storm. So our plan is to glue these pieces together, then make a cardboard template out of this windscreen that's flat, get a piece cut, bend it, put it back in. Okay, where does he go? He goes. I reckon it's probably only got one big curve. Uh, that's here too, isn't it? That's yeah. that bit. And then that's that bit. It all comes off here, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we could probably get him on. No? Oh, yeah. We went down to the local Perspex shop that we're going to buy in the piece from eventually, they'll cut it for us. And this is the glue we got for gluing the Perspex together. That's alright. I reckon we just let that set for a bit. Well, the tiddly bit goes in the top, I suppose. Yeah, it just goes in here. This is our piece of Perspex, now it's all glued back together. It's not glued 100%, but there's quite a bit of margin for error inside the frame, and it's only a mil or so out, so I think it'll be fine. What I'm going to do now is transfer this shape onto a flat piece of ply so I can use that as a template to go and get a new piece of Perspex. My plan is just to put it up against one edge here and then literally just roll the curve over this marking it as I go. A bit of cardboard would be perfect for this but I didn't have a piece large enough so I'm just using a bit of thin bracing ply. So I'm going to start square against this edge so it's one cut I don't have to do. Just making sure I don't run out there, so I'll come up this way a little bit. You can see here I've got a couple of double lines and that's because this is the piece that was offset by a mill or two. So I've actually corrected that and I'm going to cut inside line here and then outside line here. I think it'll give us a more accurate template. All right, now I'm just going to cut this template out. I'll then take it down to the Perspex store, get them to cut a piece, and then we'll come back and start looking at how to bend it. All right, voila. Here's our new piece of Perspex. Oh, watch out, did he cut from the template we had? This is the channel frame we've taken off the boat. So the plan is we're gonna heat it up in the barbecue and then just feed it into the frame while it's still warm and bendable. The people at the Perspex store gave us a bit of a test piece. So we're gonna put this in the barbecue, see if anything nasty happens, try and get it hot enough to bend. And if it goes well, we'll put the real bit in. That's neat. Great time. What? According to the Perspex guy, we need to get this to 100 degrees to melt it, so we'll put our test piece on, see what happens, see if we can get it hot enough to get soft, and if we can, we'll go for it. Is it bending? It's getting warm. It's getting hot. Yeah. Whoa. Who's that? Because it's not, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Okay, just hold it until it cools down. Well, why don't we whack it in the curve here? Can you bend it to that curve? Well... Can, yeah. And that's cooled down. That'll cool down so quickly now. I was thinking this looked pretty distorted, this piece, but we'd actually bent this edge and put another crease through it in the workshop using the heat gun to see how well the heat gun worked. And even just having it there on the on the barbecue for a bit, it was not soft, like you know, it wasn't molten or anything like that, but definitely soft enough to fit in the curve of the frame for the windscreen. So we might be onto a bit of a winner. I think we give it a go with 
our reel piece. What do you reckon, Ed? Not paying any attention, are you? So the original windscreen's flat here and flat here, so we really just need to get this centre section over the heat. So how would you suggest we do it? I reckon that side, that side in. Yeah, like that. That's probably all right, yeah, I reckon that's all right. So peel all the paper off. It's the whole Pedley family working together. <laughs> yeah. Edward, come here. It's prescription. It's all right. plus two. Throw it on pedals. Two. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> well, no, I'm How we doing it? It, yeah? it was only $170 with a Perspex. What could possibly go wrong? Because in Australia, Perspex is more expensive than oil. <laughs> How long are we bending, uh, burning it for? No, Until the joint finish. starts saggy. Oh, it's already curling upwards. Really? Yeah, yeah, look at it side on. Um, which is the bottom, G? The other side. That side? Yep. So it's curling the wrong way? No, it's curling the right way. You want it to go that way, yeah? Yeah, not the edges so much though, it's interesting. It's not bad. No, it's alright. Oh, it is a bit. No, it's curling the right way. So what we've got is the outside of the curve. Yeah. Towards the heat, and that's yeah, probably that's good because that's the side yeah. you want to expand. Yeah, yeah, because when we did that, that first bit, yeah, it was the inside that crinkled. That yeah, was the side that didn't have the heat. Didn't have the heat. Yeah. No, it didn't have the heat. We have no idea what we're doing, but we think heating the outside that's going to curve is a better plan. Is the correct thing to do if I gently bend it as well? It's not going to hurt. No, is it? no. I reckon it's just get it reasonably warm, and then we'll put it in. That sounded so dodgy, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you there. If you want to stay on it. You, you grab the other end. Do you reckon? How hot is it? Does it feel flexible or not? Get the other one out. Get the other nah, one out. give it a bit longer then. It looks really soft on your fur. Oh, it's oh, not bad. No, Come on, give it a go. We can always put it back. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Benjamin is not Benjamin is heavy. Benjamin is. Just push this out of it. How hot is it? Very, very. <laughs> we brought gloves. Oh. Oh, oh hang on. Are oh, we gonna go your end of it, you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't too bad. Oh. Cool. Just this windscreen cool. thing's not. I'll put the top on. Okay. My fingers. Bloody hell. What's going on with your <laughs> 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 I like our windscreen, I don't like your frame. Maybe that's when we got hit. Oh, Look at that. Oh. Oh. Let's go over the run. <laughs> We're totally calling this a win. That's good pedals. So, so there's guys. no distortion or anything? No, it looks nice. Just okay. let it set. Get to the bar. Quick. Huh? What, what do we need? What do we need? We oh, need a rum to celebrate. Up. How do you feel, pedals? You excited? I am very excited. I like the um, extra, the extra dark tint. Yeah. Is he blowing his nose at the noise? Them. Oh, oh, see, I told you. You're lucky he didn't bite your nose off. <laughs> he might have. We're going to try and install this window before the rain comes. Wish us luck. As you can see, this port side window is broken too. But we just want to test our technique first and then we'll buy another piece for here. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Hey, are you stealing that window? No, we're the glaziers. Glaziers. Michael Gla yeah. This is Michael Glazier. Michael Glazier. <laughs> how did you how did you take it out? Did you take Yeah there should be a rubber the, in the bottom. Yeah the bottom goes in the bottom of the track goes in first. So just attach the track. Right. It's a ladies thing. <laughs> Okay, I've got a a screw hole here. One screw. Have you got a screwdriver? No. That's alright, it's going in there. This is the uh, technical term. Yeah, the rubber that goes on. Oh, you give it a clean too, pedals. It is clean. Should yeah. so I go and clean them? Yeah, give it a clean and put some detergent on. It's your chance, it's your one and only chance. Oh, right. clean it. Well, just going to get some detergent. That's the trouble with cleaning anything. Oh. oh. What's going on here? Socks and sandals. <laughs> this bottom channel just screws in with some Phillips head screws into the fiberglass here. 
Then there's a U-shaped rubber that goes in here that Pedal is just cleaning up. And the plan is to put that onto the Perspex first and then push the whole lot into the bottom channel. Then we'll put the top channel on. Let's get sharp on my little office fingers. Where are you going, Arnie? Did you get the detergent? Look oh. what it is. Where? I put it in there already. Yeah, on the outside. On the other side that's pushing in, you want that side dry. So it doesn't keep falling off. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> When Dave's now lubricating the outside so we can slide it into the track okay, using a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid. Need to get into that bottom bit there. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. He's in. I wish you could see. Arnie, oh, no, can you pass the frame after you pass me the beer? It's not straight. It's a different windscreen. Oh. <laughs> Get your hammer onto it. Look at that. <laughs> Apart from the huge gap down there. No, it just needs a bit of a hammer. There we go. I always like hammering glass. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Only problem here, Stewie. Who's coming? Huh? Don't problem here, I'd drill some holes and hold it together. Yeah. So you might have to drill it again. Redrill, yeah? Yeah. Or, or not bother at all. It fits better now. <laughs> fits better than it ever did. Was that perspex supposed to stick out from the frame like that? Where? Because okay. this, take that off again. Yeah. The perspex was sticking out. Really? See a little bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we got it too long. So we're going to grind the perspex back. So, to get my door closed, technically. Do you have a flap disc or something on here? Oh. <laughs> Where's the extension cord? Oh, it's like, oh, goes, oh, it's there, if you want to get it, I'm like... <laughs> oh dear. Where's it go? All the way to the shed. Just past the snake's bedroom. Useless. Well, just cut it there and we'll put... Cut, it. Can we just chop it? Can we chop it, Arnie, and we'll put another plug on it? Have you got another plug? No. no. <laughs> no. I've got to I'll get a leaf. There's another one up on the deck. Is there? It's on the veranda. Oh. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Looks like our original template was out a little bit, so we're going to grind this back edge a little bit so we can get the it's get end cap on. Huh? Alright, test it. Getting closer, definitely. A bit more off, or? Um, where's the persuader? So, the, can, will this tap in at all, or is it still too far out? No. Well, it's, it's only. All the way, no? It's mil can no, you see but the... you can see the hole. See the hole? That hole's there, and the hole in the bottom bit's there. Right, okay. okay. So it's going to take some more off. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Take a bit more off? Yeah. yeah. I think it has an age. What's going on, Eddie? Okay, there we go. Nice. And then. How, this has got to go down, hasn't it? Because that, that's about a centimetre too high. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's right. That's the finishing touch, Dave. Well, it is. It adds extra buoyancy when it fills up with water. That's true. So when you... Yeah. I think we can call that mission accomplished. There we go. Give or take a few finer points. Where's your hammer? Well, thanks for watching. As is often the case, this was more an experiment than a tutorial showing something that we knew how to do, but we're really happy with the way it turns out. So I hope if you're trying to do this job that the video gives you some ideas and some confidence that it can be done and relatively easily. The windscreen on both sides of this boat had been smashed, so we'll now go and order a second bit of Perspex from that same template because they're just mirror images. We didn't want to buy two lots because it is expensive. The Perspex was $170 cut. So we thought if it doesn't work, we don't want to have a second one we can't bend or whatever. But given it went well, we'll go and get that and then the boat will be done. All right, we'll take care and we'll catch you soon. See ya.